Thank you everyone for being here. For me, veganism is the inevitable result of observing an imbalance. What did I learn? What did I see? What created the shift? Simple things. I didn't realize that in order to get milk, the cow has to be in a state of pregnancy or post-pregnancy. I didn't realize that. I don't know what I thought, but I just thought there are cows, there's milk, we take milk. I went to the farms, I went into the battery houses, I went into the piggery systems. Then I saw what I saw. And a cow needs to be in a certain physical state in order for their body to organically produce milk. The milk is meant for the children. The children of birth are taken away from the cows. The children are shipped off into veal crates. Very soon after, they're slaughtered for their flesh. But the mother is still in an emotional state of connection to the child, so she continues to produce milk. And when you see that, when you make the emotional connection, that that's how that industry works, you actually begin to see a horror. You actually begin to see stuff that arrests you on a very soul level. That's been my personal journey. You'd examine the egg industry and you think, hey, an egg's an egg. Chick walks around, lives its life. You go on to discover with a bit more examination that there's not a great deal of difference between free range and cage eggs. Um, but when you discover that the thousands upon thousands of male chicks that are born daily, let me correct that number, millions upon millions of male chicks, just little chicks that are born daily, because they can't produce eggs, because there is no way of extracting a financial benefit or profit line from their existence. They're ground up. They just put onto a conveyor belt and usher along into a vacuum over spinning blades and just quite literally ground up. It's when you see things and you understand the machinations of what the intensive farming industry does you've got to start to call some things into question. Things speak to you on a soul level. You can't shut off the emotional dialogue that has occurred. Veganism, if it was going to be substituted for another word, is act. As a word, that's my bread and butter. That's my, <laughs> let me pick another word but butter. <laughs> it's my bread and soy spread. It's a planetary equation and we know what we know. We know the amount of water and grain that can be fed to the human population that is channeled in to growing the meat population. And we have enough grain grown to feed the entire population of planet Earth three times over. Yet we have 11,000 people die per day of starvation because we channel all that grain and water into the factory farming industry to provide burger patties for the first world. And what they extract as a pound of meat for the amount of resources, grain and water that goes in, the science is not hard to look up. On a scientific level, pork production is one of the biggest contributors of sewerage into the ocean. And I get that there's so much creature comfort around that. I, we were all raised on meat and two veg. It's our reality. No one born into the first world, wasn't born into that equation. But you get information and you must make a shift. Change is difficult, change is not welcomed. Change is, well it's our last frontier isn't it? People will emotionally defend what is natural and comfortable to them and that is that lifestyle, that cultural equation. It's also a funny thing when they talk about, oh vegans they don't, <laughs> shut up. It's a funny thing, you'll drive down the highway and all you'll see is In-N-Out Burger, McDonald's, Pizza Hut, KFC, you know, we're products of the mass level of marketing and conditioning. I had very smart and very patient people bit by bit put more and more information in front of me. Knowledge serves no purpose unless you apply it through your acting, your action. And I had seen what I needed to see. And from that moment onwards, I understood veganism. The internal debate was over. I then contacted my partner and said, guess where I've just been? And she said, where? And I told her what had just happened. And blessed am I, her response on the phone on the other side of the world was, wow, so we're vegan. 
you've seen what you've seen, you choose to not unsee it, you factor in the adjustments that need to be made in your life, but in the process of doing so, you start to put things together because then you do see things from a clean slate. You do see the cow, the chicken, the animal, the turkey, the house pet, the dog, the budgie. You do see them as living things and that's a shift that is fundamental and core. They cease being a product. And when you've been lucky enough to experience or move through that wall of fire, experience that shift, it is actually a profound veil being lifted by knowing what the problem is and by knowing that if you recruit yourself on some level of responsibility as part of the problem, your capacity to be part of the solution is immediate, is applicable and has nothing but win-win. Who was a Yoda that said, you are not this crude matter, you are luminous being. Um, we're all taught that as children. All those of us born in the 70s raised under the banner of the force. We know that there's things going on beyond just the, uh, the material. And veganism as a choice has you feeding all those levels. And knowing that every single day, three times a day, you vote with your money, you vote with your dollar. The impact of that is so undeniable and empowering and serves you on so many levels. Every time you defend violence by saying it's a personal choice, you are leaving someone out of the equation. By saying it's a personal choice to inflict your desires, which in this case means death. It's no different to saying it's my personal choice to commit any other violation that we collectively agree is inhumane. It's not my personal choice to come to your place and kill your dog. It's not my personal choice to come to your place and eat your cat. It is a trained bias. Veganism is every time someone recruits themselves against that bias.